We are the Blueprint, a Michael brand designer. I'm Nasta Fang, footwear designer. And Elise Cleopatra, colors and materials designer. So our challenge this week was to take six shoes and combine them into one shoe. So let me take you through our choices of the shoe. First, we had the Trail Boost. We used the outsole and some pieces of the upper. The Adidas Crazy one, my favorite, Adidas Ultra Boost. The EQ3, three of three. The Iniki. And the Pusha T EQT, EQT collaboration. So we use certain parts of the shoe, some non-functional, some functional, to create the silhouette for the shoe we're going to show you today. So Eddie, what are you? You know, I know a lot of people ask you that, you know, you're author, you're a chef, you're a comedian, but, you know, for us, when we researched you, we're all big fans. We only know you as one thing. Human panda. Pen, pen, pen. <laughs> <laughs> so, notice how we spell human, hue. Hue as in color, hue as in the essence of every color. Uh, we believe that you know you support everyone. You don't leave anybody out. So that takes us to the human experience. So the human experience for us is living the way you want to and living comfortably and knowing who you are. So with that, I'm going to pass it to my footwear designer, and he's going to explain more about the shoe. So Eddie, you are the reason why I'm on this stage. Um, it is, I want to inspire the immigrants just like how you inspire me. Um, and also, when you are a person of color in this country, you often, if you're trying to tell the story, it's going to get fragmented. So we use a lot of different shoes and use the most iconic fragments to create our story. Eddie, you talk about people want to be different. So we're going to use our story, our lacing system, to open opportunity for our consumer to create, to want to be themselves, you know, like from the streetwear fashion and also the performance. The first process was kind of challenging that I was like, okay, I'm, I don't know how to, like, to sketch, to start to sketch. We start to do surgery on this shoe, implant on the other shoe, and a lot of like different pieces. But the also, the traction is really aggressive that we want to be like, calm it down from the upper. So the prototype come up. We did this at a teamwork. We had fun, so much fun on this. And the, the shoot will come out great. We decide this is going to be our final shoe. And we just about like, chain the upper because we're, not, uh, we're going to just use the bottom on the shoe. So this is like the process on our upper and in the back, and this is for our final design. I will pass back to Annalise. She will talk more about the material. Thanks, Esther. Hi, everybody. So you can see in this beautiful render done by our footwear designer, Nestor Fang, we have uh, diversity in materials, but a mostly monochromatic colorway. So let's talk about those materials. Going to index, our strategy, we went on the website, we looked at what shoes were available to us to select our options. And the Pusha T EQT was at the top of our list. It had a lot of panels, a lot of pattern work that we could play with, and some really nice elements. So with that, we got a really nice full grain leather. We also got a toe cap piece that has a piece of 3M, which is inspired by the New York City and New York City lights. And our hero, which is this fish scale texture that we ended up using on the heel counter. So we know that Pusha T was talking about something else when he was doing scales, but we are sticking to the fish. And this part really just represents the, that push and pull because it's a big contrast to the mustache of the Aniki, which we used on the toe. And so with that, we're playing with a bit of yin and yang to really get that contrast. Next, on the EQT 3 of 3, we pulled a tumbled leather and a charcoal suede. And we used these in our lacing system and to 
on, uh, I'm sorry, to contrast on the medial side. This is the texture from the Ultra Boost, which we used in the upper. And from the Iniki, we used the Eye Stay as a pull tab and also to extend our lacing system. And lastly, we pulled a green jewel from the Crazy Ones to act as a jewel on the front of the lace, which ties back to your jade Buddha necklace, which you often wear. So these colors we've pulled, we have the yin all the way at the end, the Ultra Boost and the Pusha T, and then yang for, I'm sorry, the Ultra Boost upper and the Pusha T leather, and then yang representing the boost and the Iniki mustache. Well done in charcoal are the kind of lighter shades that we used in the, from the EQT 3 of 3, cement from the Iniki, and dumplings as the off-white the off -white that we used in um, the original shoe to tuck everything in. We have a diversity of materials and a pretty monochromatic colorway, and we just we just appreciate how you put on for people of color, but want to uplift all colors. So using our color and material story, we wanted to show that even though we are different hues, we're all cut from the same cloth, and we are far more alike than we are different. And you inspired us to tell that. Human panda. And, um, <laughs> thank you for the time. Wait, 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 we're not done yet. We're not done yet. Don't, Don't we have something down. else? We do. Man. I'm calming down, man. Jeez, y'all making us look not professional. <laughs> but wait, there's more. So, you know, we have a sneaker for you. Of course, you're going to wear it outside. You're going to wear it to the city. You know, you're going to go out. You probably wear it in the kitchen, traction, stain proof. But what you going to wear when you at home? So we took the extra materials that we had left over and created. Chris, I don't know if you have these yet, but. <laughs> <laughs> the Ultra Boost slide, which we will present to you now. Thank you. Oops.